Hey everybody, my name is Conrad and I'm a creator that loves to share and co-create with my community whenever I come up with cool new ways to solve everyday challenges. Recently, I shared a growth framework about being intentional, a philosophy distilled from the best of many established mindsets and methodologies revolving around achieving your goals and finding more meaning in your life. I'm extremely humbled by all your positive responses, as it was a message that was very personal to me, as following this mindset has drastically changed my life for the better, and hopefully yours as well. So as requested, today I'll be sharing how I put the framework of being intentional into practice, and a practical way for you to get started too. I hope you all enjoy. I'll be going through the many features of my newly released Be Intentional template, and I recommend you follow along by going to the link here. While well, I'll be sharing how I implemented this framework into my life using Notion, a productivity tool, I do want to say that you can be successful using any tool you're familiar with. If you truly understand the principles of what makes the mindset work, you can pretty much implement it anywhere, in a notebook, a spreadsheet, wherever you like. However, I did decide to build this out in Notion because the customizable tool helps me organize my ideas, easily share it with friends and family, and surface any data that I need to see whenever I need to see it. I'll be demonstrating this as we go along. First, let's recap the basics of the framework. The first thing you'll recognize about this framework is that it splits up the things that you want to do in your life into three distinct components. Indefinite houses areas, which are the categories of your life that you want to continuously work on and improve. Examples are health, family, finances, things that don't have a set time frame or end results. Definite is the exact opposite. This is where you define clear goals with set time frames, measurable results, and well thought out projects. You can think of projects as experiments towards the goal, and whenever you execute upon a project that works well, you should save it as best practices as a master, so that you can indefinitely maintain the good results that you observed. Then you have your supporting components, which houses all the research you did to ensure your projects are well grounded in facts and well researched. It's also important to continuously do research on masters as well, because we cannot expect what worked for us years ago will still work well today. Finally, you have your trackers, which is where you keep track of all the maintenance tasks that you are doing to ensure your areas are continuously improving. So let's jump into the definite components of your life. So welcome to your success plan. This is where we store all the things you're doing to service the definite components of your life. You'll notice that we're currently in the founder view. As the founder, it is your responsibility to conceptualize and prioritize goals that service the areas of your life that you want to work on. Your goals should answer why. Why are you doing this in the first place? Well, maybe your goal in Q4 2019 was to get a fit physique. Great, now you have to ask what? What does it mean for you to have a fit physique? In this example, we defined it as being able to run 10 km in 30 minutes. This template allows you to add as many goals as you want and as many key results as you need to define the goal. I recommend three or more as you generally want to be ambitious with what you are trying to accomplish. You'll also notice that there is a progress bar calculating the downstream items. As you add more downstream items, like so, the downstream progress bar will automatically calculate the percent completion. You can use this number to help determine if you have accomplished enough to complete the upstream items. When you start having more than one goal per area, you will need to prioritize. Within the success plan, you can easily prioritize your item by making smart usage of the impact value as well as the target dates. This template surfaces that information for you and auto sorts the values, making it a simple process to focus on what matters the most. You should be getting into the founder mindset and reviewing your goals and key results every two weeks. So you could manage the entire success plan from this page, you know, go through your manager mindsets as well as your project manager mindset as well. However, I do want to showcase an integration with something I call core views. So let me navigate to that page. 
Essentially, what it is is that all my important templates have a corresponding view for convenient day-to-day -day manipulation. Let's look into OnDeck. So this page is designed to concentrate all the things you need to do on a day-by-day -day basis so that you can focus on executing and not be distracted with planning. And you should review this all the time. So let's scroll down and you'll see that for goals, we've separated them into different quarters. So you can review your goals one quarter at a time, Q1, Q2, Q3, and so on. This makes it easier for you to see everything that you're trying to accomplish in a single quarter. Then you see your key results, and your key results are all surfaced here based on the things that are in progress right now. What are you currently trying to work on? And usually I try to filter out by one week from now because I might have a lot of key results and I don't want to see an you know, entire list. But because this is example data, then it's only a few items, so I don't have a filter on it right now. But you can see that these are all servicing different goals in different quarters. You see ones for quarter one, ones for quarter two, ones for quarter three, and so on. Now you can see that there are projects as well. So as a manager, what you should be doing is looking at all your key results and making sure that your projects are always well defined and always well researched. You should be sure that these are the right projects for you to work towards your key results and quickly turn them over if they're not the right ones at any given point of time. Then you also have tasks. So these are the tasks that would work towards the projects. And for me, I like to consider them as quests. So these are the quests I have to do to make sure that I'm achieving all the projects and all the key results that I want uh, to complete. And I like calling them quests and giving them a corresponding gold value is because I believe in gamification and how it can motivate you to do more with less resources and uh, you know, make sure that you have the motivation uh, to continue doing all the things that you want to do on a day-by-day -day basis. So how does the gold value get calculated? Well, for this, I set it as a difficulty level of two. So I expect it to take two 25 minute chunks of time for me to finish uh, this item. And of course, I keep impact in mind as well. And therefore, automatically, a gold value is calculated. And when I finish this task, uh, the gold is rewarded to me. You can also see uh, that I have a area section and the area section is for me to surface all the different areas and sub areas that I need to review uh, based on their review period. And let's go into areas now and we'll talk more about that. So going back to the Be Intentional homepage, if you scroll down, you can see a section called Watch, where you can see all the different areas in your life that you're currently watching. This is very important because these are the nine areas in your life, or 12, or six, up to you, that you think should constantly be improved upon and define you. So it's also very important for me to showcase the description. What does it mean for me to excel in this specific area? Uh, goals, what goals am I currently working on to improve this area? And also sub areas, what are the things I'm doing to maintain and track my progression towards improvements within each area? So let's open up areas and we'll see more. So in your areas page, you'll see that you have two very different views, one for areas and one for sub areas. The reason is because areas and sub areas have different properties that I care about. Areas have goals and sub areas, whereas sub areas have tasks, areas, and resonance. One thing that they both share, however, is a review frequency. And the review frequency essentially defines how often you should take a look at this and improve upon it, uh, and that's entirely up for you to set. So for example, for my daily tracker, I want to review it daily. So it says every one days, it will start counting down, and if 24 hours has passed, it'll ask me to review. However, if I change this to bi-weekly, it shows 14 days. If I change it to you know, quarterly, it shows 90 days, and so on and so forth. So your sub areas is where you store your masters and trackers. As an example, I have daily schedule here, which is my best practices of how you should maintain a quality daily schedule by time boxing as much as you can so you're defining every 30 minute chunk of your life to do something meaningful. And for me, I have both a weekday schedule as well as a weekend schedule and I can immediately and easily calculate how much time I'm spending on sleep, on work, 
on health, on life, and on food, and so on. You also see something similar for reflections. Reflections is a place for me to track my daily habits that I've been doing, my daily reflections, as well as the things I've been grateful for, and how can I avoid making the same mistakes twice. In Finance Tracker, you can easily track every single penny you spend, budget, and reconcile with your bank statements. So this is where I can easily see from a bird's eye glance what I've been spending on, what I've been saving, and also if there's any credit card payments I need to make. One thing I also want to show is how all these different templates can be surfaced in core views for easy day-to-day -day manipulation. So let's go there now. So dailies is a page designed to give you proper management of the daily maintenance you do. And you should review this pretty frequently. So here on the left, you see that you have your daily quests. And if you open it up, you can see that this is all the different things that you might want to do in a certain day. So for me, I define it as, you know, wake up on time, making my bed, meditating. And as I check these things off, you'll see that my percentage score for the day's completion actually keeps on going up. If I say I ate a breakfast, let's say I ate cereal, which is bad for you actually, uh, you know, or uh, plus, uh, you know, oatmeal, then you can see that it goes up as well. I can keep on checking off as I get through the day and I'll keep increasing in score. Now what's important also is this daily reflection here. And these are the things that are meaningful prompts for you to think about as you plan out your day in the morning. So your five things that you want to learn and grow from today, uh, what's the one thing you would do that, you know, if you do nothing else you should do, uh, what's something new you experiment about, what are 750 words you're gonna write, you know, some scratch pad, a place for you to write notes during the day that don't really make it into your um, success plan, but or there's just some small things you need to do that are just, you know, don't go really anywhere. So you just make quick notes there. And what's also very interesting is there's a prompt for you to do a recap at the end of the day. You know, what did you feel good about? What have you done wrong? What do you want to sleep on? What can you do tomorrow that's high leverage, right? And these are all things that you could save inside this property section so that they can be further reassessed at a later time when you want to resurface, hey, what were my happiness scores for the last month, for the last year? What were things I was grateful for? What were three words about my day? So as you complete these as well, and let's just use this as an example, you can see that this also would make your reflection complete. So you can keep entering things, you know, what do you do they feel good about? You know, you made a video, for example and you can set your effectiveness you know set things that you don't want to make the same mistake again and this will also calculate if you made the same mistake twice and it will warn you about that stuff so there's a lot of cool integrations this page has that i really urge you to explore the fullest extent of it you know how happy you are what can you do tomorrow uh you know what do you want to sleep on and of course the things that you want to sleep on would also be surfaced when you wake up tomorrow and you start your daily tracker again and you do your reflection and you You'll see that hey were there any breakthrough insights last night so this is very important for you to just keep seeing the things that you should be mindful of and uh, keep having it on top of mind so you don't forget it and uh, as you keep on filling things out and you can add a cover then you'll start seeing your whole life in essence and if you open up the daily quest page that we were just on earlier you can start seeing you know, a whole week of things that you've done and really it helps your week recap a lot when you can just see that kind of visibility uh, about your day and about how much you really accomplished that day on the right hand side you can see your weekly quests so these are just things that i think you know don't need to be done on a daily basis but it's important to do and you have some kind of you know tracker for it in the sense that you might want to do this once you know every day or maybe once every two days or maybe just three times a week stuff like that uh, for finance tracking i also have a very easy way for you to input your finance tracking here so that you can just do it from your dailies page you don't have to go into your uh, areas finally this is your dashboard this is a page designed to give you a bird's eye view of what's happening in your life and you should review it every morning and evening. Here you can set the theme of the week. 
your workouts for the week, your plans for the weekend, and any mail or packages that you're waiting to pick up. I also surfaced the don't make the same mistake twice database here so that you can see all the mistakes that you've made over the week and make a conscious effort not to repeat the same mistakes moving forward. I also surfaced your schedule here so you can see that at any point in the day what you should be working on, what you've already set out to time box for yourself. You can see your media, all the different research that you're doing that's currently in progress. And of course, if you run out of things to do, you can draw things up from ready to start. And you also see two more sections here, one for home cooked meals and upcoming chats. These are templates I'm not gonna cover in depth today in this video because it has a lot of information in them. But as a light overview, essentially what you can do is you can select different meals that you wanna eat at various days in the week. And depending on what you choose from your different um, recipes, all the ingredients will be surfaced in your grocery list and you'll be able to easily select what has already been purchased or if you're at the grocery store you can see what you should purchase and what's already purchased at home also you can see your upcoming chats which essentially surfaces all the different people that you should chat with whether it be mentors friends teachers family that you haven't spoken to in a while and depending on your contact frequency that you set that you think you should speak to uh, at a certain frequency and this is important because it helps you maintain the connections that you work so hard to build and you want to make sure that you're maintaining those connections over time so I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of our feature-packed Be Intentional template. I haven't covered everything, so please feel free to explore the template on your own and see all that it has to offer. If you have any requests on what content you want to see next from me, or have any questions, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. I've recently started an inclusive group officially named COEX3, which stands for Co-Creation, Collaboration, and Community. It's an inclusive group of like-minded forward thinkers that want to affect positive change on the world. Our community members also get access to my exclusive Notion templates, which can be all found on the community page here. We'd love to have you as part of the community, and you can find details in the description down below. By joining our group, you also get access to our Discord community a space where we hold friendly debates and discussions on all topics growth and collaborate on our latest innovative projects. I also want to thank Hans van der Drift, Elena Leon, Lori Harris, Daniela, and Amy Mason for being the first five patrons of the COEX3 community since it was launched last week. You guys are amazing and your support means the world to us. And it keeps this project going. Thank you so much. We're currently having a launch goal to hit 100 patrons, and once this goal is met, we hope to release interesting and innovative content every two weeks. As one of our early patrons, you will also get access to an exclusive super package that unlocks one-click duplication for our best templates. That's all for now. Do leave me a like if you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the community. Stay safe, have a great week, and remember, be intentional.